guys. Before I get straight into it, actually, if you are not sub subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button so you can see all my videos when they come out. And if you are, thank you very much for keeping on watching my videos. I still have loads to say, so hopefully you bear with me during uh, all those upcoming videos that I have planned for you. Today I want to talk about food. Uh, I talked about cheese, I talked about meat, I talked about bread. Um, when I talked about bread, I didn't really specify what in bread was so bad. Well, I think I, I can't remember what I said actually. But in bread, there's so many things that are wrong. But today I'm going to specify another item that I think is very wrong. And that is sugar. I think most of us are addicted to sugar. I definitely am. I love sugar in any shape or form. Carbs are usually sugar, so bread is one of the sugar I'm addicted to. But more than that, I just love sugar. I just love ice creams, I love jams, I love sweets, I chocolate. I'm not actually that bad with it, but I would sure enjoy it as long as there's a piece of bread and a bit of butter on top of it. I can slack some some chocolate on top of it. And I just love sugar like anywhere all the time. I love cake. If anyone knows me personally, they'll know that I just eat cake whenever I can I crave cake at least at least once a day I fight against it but if I was listening to my cravings I would probably eat cake in the morning and in the afternoon and in the evening like three times a day I love crepes like anything sweet really I love uh, waffles what's not to like you know so yes uh, sugar is really one of those things that I'm trying to get away from as soon as possible, kind of detox myself from it and remove the addiction. But the addiction is very, very, very much here and very present, which is very annoying. I I'm getting rid of it slowly. I know that I should cut myself off from it. and. Lots of people say, first first one of them is my brother, he's like, yeah, I was addicted to sugar and within two months of not having it, then I didn't even want it anymore. Problem is, I've noticed that people have different relationship to, to food that I do and like we talked before, my relationship with food is, like most people, very fucked up, but I have a very intense relationship with sugar which means that, not with sugar, with food, which means that the emotional attachment I have with food is, I think, almost even bigger than the attachment I have with sugar, which is just uh, physical, the physiological addiction to sugar that my body has is not even as strong as the emotional attachment I have to food and then sugar specifically. Everything around food. I love to cook, I love to bake. Baking and then seeing people eating my food is just, oh, it's too good. And then eating it with them and, you know, going from nothing to something that looks great and that tastes amazing. It's like, oh, how can I give up on that, you know? sugar is just delicious and when i'm talking about sugar i'm talking about refined sugar complex sugar carbohydrates but um when i talk about sugar i'm not to, uh, the addiction i have with it i'm not really talking about oh yeah i'm addicted to sugar so i eat loads of fruits yes there is uh sugar in fruit but when there's nothing more annoying when people are like oh but you eat a lot of um you eat a lot of fruit because they see me eating like 
she had loads of oranges and then loads of mangoes and then they see me eating like eight bananas and they're like uh, but be careful with bananas because you know bananas are very fattening so if you eat a lot of them i don't actually know how you're still so slim and it's like yeah bitch um yes bananas are very rich and yes there's sugar in fruit but it's sugar that your body assimilates really quickly and eliminates really quickly uh, in opposition to uh, the sugar you find in bread or the sugar you find in cakes or the sugar you find in I don't know just sugar that you put in your coffee I don't drink coffee uh, by the way so that's not going to be one of the foods like most people I see on YouTube and stuff where they're like oh I'm trying to get off, off coffee I don't even drink coffee because it's like my body rejects it anyway let, let's come out of this little parenthesis um, but what was I talking about yes yeah, so I was saying that any refined sugar that's what I'm referring to and it's really not helping me when I'm eating that much sugar. I'm more irritated. My skin breaks out. You see, I've had a few things that I probably shouldn't be eating lately. And here you go, I get spots. Um, my nails are not growing. You know, all these kind of things. Just like all the other foods I've listed in previous videos, it's not helpful for my health. Uh, both for my physical health and for my mental health so I'm really trying to get out of it but I'm not gonna lie it's very hard if I listen to myself even when I was even like 10 years ago but I had control over myself for that for quite a long time I would eat uh, sweets every day but I forced myself not to even have it in my house so I'm not tempted if I listened to myself, I would have crepes for breakfast. I would have cakes after every uh, lunch and dinner. And I would just eat fruit, like not fruit, I would just eat sweets all the time, like fruit tarts and like, yeah, waffles, you know, when you come out and you smell this delicious smell. And then I would have, you know, in the morning, I live in France, like on the Swiss border, but in France. So if I listen to myself, I would have brioche. If you've been to France, you know how good the brioches are. I would have brioche and I would have those um, lovely papettes. I don't know if you know papettes they call it different names depending on the place but basically it's like a custard tart so it's like brioche with custard on top it's sugar on top of sugar with dairies as well like the worst combo fat and sugar is the worst you can think of but it tastes so good so good anyway but slowly but surely i think i'm getting used to it i don't know if it's more the emotional attachment now that uh, makes me still eat it sometimes or whether my, my physiological self is still attached to it. I'm not quite sure because I've eliminated quite a lot of it and I don't actually, I don't know how to say. But in the morning, I really look forward to eating my fruits. I'm hungry, but I don't feel like, oh, I, I want to, like, I remember the heavy feeling I get after eating all this sugary stuff. So I don't want to eat it physiologically, but the taste in my mouth and stuff that I want to find again, like the, the beauty that's happening when I have it in my mouth, that's what makes me still want to have it. I don't know if any of you are in a sugar detox or not. I know that it's very, very, very hard. But if you are, please, you know, let me know how you do it, what you replace it with. There's loads of um, cool smoothies that I do that I've discovered that actually kind of hit the spot. And yes, fruits really help with this craving of sugar but I don't know it's I'm still not completely there yet 
but that's my aim anyway to get all my fruits uh, from natural sources nothing that has been uh, processed nothing complex nothing more than like one ingredient so basically nothing else than fruit so yeah and also well that will be for another video but I'm just shocked at how many people are quite find it quite normal to eat that and actually think it's healthy to eat um, to eat like cakes and stuff and actually convince themselves that all of that is yeah what you should eat, eat for your health and it's like really like I know I eat that and I've always been eating that because I love the taste but I'm not thinking oh yeah that's actually giving me nutritious value hell to the N-O anyway I'll make another video on that and how generally we're all quite uh, passive in our own lives and how we just believe everything we hear it's like oh yeah eggs are good for you just eat eggs and you're like oh yeah let me make let me make a frittata and yeah that's gonna be good for me like no just let's all wake up and realize what is actually healthy like let's not keep all eating all that shit and actually convincing ourselves that it's healthy for us it's not it's really not anyway I'm gonna go now thank you very much for watching once again uh, I'll be back for more videos very soon like I said so many things to say still and I'm really trying I think I'm struggling because I'm trying to uh, deliver it in a non-violent not non-judgmental non uh, like I'm telling you what you do way and that's the way that I've grew up in and that we all know I guess and I'm trying to go against that and I hope that I'm achieving that goal uh, but anyway very grateful for all of you that are watching and see you soon thanks guys bye